Hey guys, Omni here. Welcome back for more Witcher Season 3. We're about to dive into Episode 2. The last episode was one of my favorite episodes of the show. Pretty much an entire episode centered around the primary trio, and I adored every second of it. And we could not have too much of a good thing because they split up at the end of the episode. But guys, we're going to go ahead and hop in. So if you want to see the full three action, check it out over on Patreon or if you got Marvel channel, get you access as well. It is watch along format. So if you want to need your own footage to sync up the time codes of reaction the entire episode. You get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover here on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote on what movies we react to each month. We got monthly Q&As, behind scenes footage, or try to make it worth your while. It's already way to support the channel. And guys, if you enjoyed this reaction, really appreciate it. If you leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already, and with that all said and out of the way, guys, let's go ahead and hop into episode a two. Oh, God. That spy was our fourth execution in as many days. One Kedwellian, one Adernian. See, that's the problem. What's a mage doing all the way out here? <sighs> Prying eyes. Not swanning idly around the countryside. Looking like that, though. She can idle around me tonight. <laughs> they keep their beauty by bathing in human blood every night, huh? Thanks for the ale. I feel like that that's made up. I don't think we've seen that. <laughs> Cold one, isn't it? Oh! Really interesting. I saw you. What? Apologies, good sir. Never mind the girl. She was kicked in the head by a horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that hurt. You're afraid. I promise Geralt I'll keep you safe. We're going shopping. That's a gnarly little totem right there. I mean, they've got these little teddy bear faces and they're like, no, please don't hurt me. And then wham, just like a boatload of fangs all up in your business. How many people do you see? What the fuck did they kill? How much could their information possibly cost? To find us hunting theory, a lot. And, and why do we need that? <gasps> He's got to feed it to the door. Whoa. Oh, I guess that works too, I guess your secret door of mystery or are you just pleased to shut the fuck up <laughs> it is ready for you now this will help get you what you deserve ooh that balance I traded my boots to a dwarf in return for a magnum steel sword it was that sword that decapitated the bastard one day. You know, I'm going to have to play these games one day, one day, man. I have all three. <laughs> Thank you, Steam. I've just never played them. You will make me a new sword. One worthy of your craft. A sword befitting the Emperor of the Continent. Oh, how, how the mighty have fallen. I said drink. Wow. <laughs> I'm afraid that information will cost you a bit more, Geralt. Let's try a wager. I shall turn my back. You shall throw this at my head. Should you hit, you win. Should you miss, you will give me the information that I want. You're not seriously suggesting that I accept this wager. No, I'm sure you will. <laughs> you didn't even flinch. Why would I flinch? I heard you were aiming to miss. Oh, softy. Mm. There is a castle called Volpan. It is near the old scarlet. How are my minds? Yeah. On the outskirts of piano. If you know that, you're already in too deep. This mage, whoever it is, is very dangerous. Let it lie, Geralt. I shall not. But you knew that already. I give you your time. 
To give our best to the Elder Blood Princess. Uh... He isn't the only one willing to pay for the girl traveling with the White Herd Witcher. You want to save her? You need to find another girl. Ashen hair, green eyes. That's not how this works. Proposition is a simple solution. Someone has to die. Someone else can live. Wait. I will not pay for what I love by having contempt for myself. Oh, was he suggesting that he find like somebody that looks like her and kill her? Or was was it just find another daughter if you want one and give up that one? Kira, I need your help. My handmaiden and I are in need of one of your portals to Aratusa. After that legendary night of non-fatal execution. Well, I'm hoping they've forgotten about that. <laughs> I won't be long. Run, run. Hey, what the fuck? You have no idea who you just crossed. Yeah, about that. <laughs> oh, my Lord. You don't want to end up decapitated? I suggest you run too. You can wait. No! Could have taken them with you. You failed to deliver. We want peace. Let's find the brat and killer. No. Last I checked, slinging matters are not how we conduct business here. We will take all concerns to the full body of the council, as we always have. In the meantime, you are disrupting lessons. God, I hate him so much, dude. Oh. What the hell? Somebody in here killing sorceresses? No, I'm uh, not really in a singing mood. Oh, go on. No, uh, very lovely time without me. And Pick your favorite. They'd love a song about your white head, would you? Come on, man. This seems like a pretty easy ask. Oh, no new song for us yet. It's probably a trap. <laughs> I love how literally everything makes him exasperated. <laughs> you know, you'd save money if you held on to the, the cork and the, the, the bottle, you know? I mean, he kept the bottle, just not the cork, I guess, but... Why would you understand? You see what you want, you make it happen. Snap your fingers, mountains move. Men bend to your will. How would you know what it's like to fight for control of your life? Ooh, woo 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 woo. Well, she doesn't know. That's all she's done. Where are you going? My ugly one. We're taking a detour. Why do you call me that? Because I promised I'd be sincere with you from here forward. Come along. I want to show you who I really am. Oh, is she going home? Oh, that would be cool. <laughs> Pay for this. <laughs> Scum. Oh my god. Yo! Dude. Yeah. Get up, old friend. Old friend? I don't get it. If he's a wise man, as you say, why the hell's he wasting God's given talent like yours? Funny thing about that. So your plan is to keep paying penance until you're killed by northern troops. Must be quite a man to inspire such cockeyed loyalty. <laughs> Hold you in the same regard, even if you are an old, ugly, arrogant prick. <laughs> hey, we got another one. Put him in a bag. The lads will help me throw him out. Wow, that's fucked. I am. You can all applaud me now if you like. <laughs> I always wondered what it was that made your song so irresistible. You see people 
for what they are, not what they pretend to be. Well, that's part of it, at least. And the rest? I don't know yet, but I'm determined to figure it out. <laughs> I like this guy, man. Does the witch know how lucky he is to have you? Probably not. A little. A little. This one's very bubbly down here. Oh. Oh, oh! Ho <laughs> ho! <laughs> Holy fucking Elden Ring, man. Oh, is that their bodies? Yeah, it is. Whoever's like controlling or using this thing, is it just collecting anyone and everyone that looks like series description? Dude, I fucking love this show's music. Dude, there's not just three people in that thing. She might, she might be okay. Rest in peace, motherfucker. Did she somehow swap places with it? Yup. It could not have been that easy. Now I yell go, he scuttles off like a wounded deer, and then I shot the elf like this. Hold still, I say. Uh. Oh, oh, he's supposed to get an arrow through the throat at some point. You seem to be witless. Prison man has no secrets from me. And you do know about his meeting last night with Nilfgaard. Man, they are really underestimating this house, apparently. Or he's playing a game to shed some doubt. Did you hear something? No. Really? I hope they don't die. I do have a visitor. We have not. You know who I mean? The witch was here. I can still smell his stench. We didn't mention anything about your employer. Oh, what he's really got planned for Cyrilla of Sidra. What do you know about his plans? Don't you dare. Not the cat. Come everything. No. I like that couple. Fucking owl. How do you feel? Cotton knows you weren't fond of her. But that's only because we have too much in common. We both that love happens. you. That too. The overwhelming need to win an argument. <laughs> I still in common. need to know where his allegiances lie. I love you. I could be a writer. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's this? An old superstition. Stones are rumored to have protective abilities. I wouldn't trust it. It could be quite the opposite. We're enchanted to keep tabs on you. A tracking bracelet. I'll meet Yennefer at Cause Felon. Make sure she's not bringing trouble. Yeah, we focused on it. I don't know. I don't trust him. And clearly we know he's got some shady shit going on, but... 
I just don't really, at least I don't know the extent of it. My house used to stand here. Oh, it's gone. This is where I grew up. Is she gonna show her? Get out of there, girl. I can do it. Won't go. Don't you dare take your eyes off me. You do not have a choice. <sighs> My whole life, I've had so much power. But I've never been perfect. I fought with Tissaia every step of the way. Like you, I once chose to interfere. I set a prisoner free. And in doing so, I set the entire North against the Brotherhood. And the Brotherhood against each other. Yeah. The whole continent is paying the consequences. It's not enough to possess chaos. You and I. We must learn to control it. That is the essence of power. That is how we will move mountains. No. Together. Come along. Siri. Hey, she didn't call you ugly anymore. I knew you'd come for me. And how do you know that? Because you always do. Who are you? I'm Siri. What? <laughs> Wait, what? What? What the fuck? Oh my god, somebody's baiting for- Oh, somebody's trap. Mmm, this whole thing got trap. Like you said, it's a trap. It was a trap. There's so many things going on in the shadows that we just- we just got nothing. We got nothing for it. I got no idea who's really pulling what strings half the time. And this- I forget his name. I'm sorry. The pr the prince that has been uh, befriending Yaskier. I don't know which one's playing the other at this point. I think Yaskier is like genuinely building a rapport with him, but I don't know how much the other guy is playing Yaskier. He knows people way more than the spy master thinks. And we see that become more and more evident each interaction. Um, and he provides more and more value each time something new comes up. To the point he knows things that even he doesn't know. That his brother has been speaking with Nilfgaard behind their back. And apparently neither of them knew about it. That's kind of interesting. In that vein, like, I I, I don't know exactly. Because Yaskier told him, you know, the cup, old couple knew. I don't know if he knew that was going to get passed along. Obviously he knows who he's kind of roped in with anyway. Ah, there's so much shit. There's so many like interconnected little things going on here at this point. I love that uh, despite all that going on, we got to see, or at least it was revealed to Siri in this way as a part of her own little lesson about knowing how and when to interact and controlling oneself by seeing how everything that's going on right now is linked to the things that Yennefer has done in her own rebellious defiance of everything that Artusa pretty much stands for. Uh, it's pretty crazy. But then seeing still how conflicted Zaya is about this whole thing, and then her man squeeze, giving her the bracelet, which I feel like is more than meets the eye. And uh, I think she's going to be blinded to whatever it is. I don't I just don't trust the guy, man. Ever since we saw those couple of glimpses of him solo by himself, he just, he just can't help so. And I'm almost kind of wondering, like, would it have been more interesting to not have revealed that? You know, if we were inclined to trust him along the way without us seeing these secret sides of him? That he's been hiding from everybody else. I don't know. I don't know if I would have preferred that or not. It's just something that just kind of crossed my mind in the moment. But I like Ciri's journey. I like her and Yennefer's little uh, adventure. And then Geralt was uh, baited off into this trap. We get to just keep... I'm glad that they, they got everybody doing the things that they're good at. You know, Yennefer's talking people up. She's a, a craft of the people of the world. That's kind of her thing. Uh, the Undercity, the CD exchanges... I love seeing like her skill set being put to the test throughout the episode while her she's also mentoring Siri and they're furthering that relationship between them. And then the episode, Geralt is just doing Geralt shit, man. 
hunting, tracking, slaying beasts, man. That was a wild creature, too. It gave me grafted vibes. If you played Elden Ring. Uh, def that's definitely what that made me think of. And then just the heads on the walls. It's just like, I'm very curious about the machinations of that creature. It seemed like there was like a, there was a body and a heart for each one of the heads though, but it looked like it was filled with way more than just those three bodies. So that was kind of a curious little thing. And then we have this like siren-esque brainwashed child who looks like Siri, who's now thinks she's Siri. I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, man, I, uh, I really, this was another pretty solid episode. This, this season so far, I mean, we're only two episodes in, it's kind of got me hooked. Is there anything I'm forgetting to talk about? Well, yeah, there's, uh, I, I gotta remember everybody's names, man. I know like our core gang, but there's some other people I, I, I still fucking can't. Uh, keep a grasp on Frangilla getting the fuck out of there. Seeing just like what happened to her and the Black Knight. They were rising stars in Nilfgaard, man. And then all of that in one fail swoop. <laughs> Boom. Destroyed. He's out there digging ditches, burying bodies, and just on the front lines. Treated like basically a throwaway pawn when he was their most revered and heralded... Uh, night it's kind of crazy and then same with frangilla man she was climbing 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 she's all powerful she had all this stuff going on and then she's chained up in a dungeon testing wine upon wine upon wine for poison to the point she's just whittled around but she finally managed to get an escape somehow this time but Robbie and Mel and uh, what's his face know each other, and they may they maybe they could cook something up. That was cool. I'm just I just can't with that looming depression in the in the distance. I'm curious to see what everybody else is feeling because I know there's a lot of mixed feelings about season two, and I liked it for the most part. But then again, like I've said many a times, I'm not I don't know the actual canon or the lore, so everything uh, from season two onward has just been like a a, a ride. For me to go on and I you know season two was rocky but overall I still kind of enjoyed it so I didn't have run into those moments where you know some other people did that was kind of you know grew up uh you know playing the games reading the books and stuff like that I have read the first couple of books since and I that's, it made me appreciate season one even more because of how closely that kind of wrapped in with some of that stuff season one I think was really good even if the the timeline structuring really threw a lot of people off but it was really fun man and some of the the stories from that first book carried over into season two, like the uh, the thing with uh, Tormund Giant's Bane, uh, the with the boar and the vampire lady. That was a good episode too. But yeah, man, I don't know. I'm enjoying the season so far. I think, I mean, just in these two episodes, it feels like it's it's. I don't know if it's trying. It knows it needed to pick up the pace, but it's it started with a really strong first. Uh, steps forward into the season. I, I did see some early reports that see, for some people that got to screen the first couple of uh, episodes, even before I did, was just that it seems to be putting things back on track for the lore. And I'd be very curious to hear from you guys about that for you all who have maybe played the games or read the books and stuff like that. Just get your take on it. You know, just be civil, be, be, be respectful. Take it easy on a layman like me who's just kind of here and rolling around through it all. I do feel like there's been a significant uh, improvement. And maybe that's mostly because I didn't dislike or have an issue with season two as much as some people did. And maybe it's just the blood origin that's still kind of in, that taste is still in the back of my throat. But like these first two episodes just so far felt like a breath of fresh air for me for one, whatever reason. I do remember that last season I was not a fan of uh, Yennefer's storyline much at all. But guys, anyway, what'd you think of the episode? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you want to see the following three reaction, check it out over on Patreon or forget my channel gets you access as well. Before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends, Manny Share, Ryan, Karen, Philly Bain, Yori Korska, Margaret Grace, Melita, Robert Angriano, Jeffrey Hale, M. Sephiroth, Jake and Trail, and Eric Official. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. But that's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.